Hi folks, let's talk colors. Tailwind 2.0 comes with a brand new vibrant color palette. Funnily enough, this new palette is both smaller and bigger than in Tailwind version 1. Out of the box, Tailwind 2.0 comes with a curated subset of colors with a few colors cut off from version 1. Let's quickly import the colors from Tailwind 1 so that we can make a side-by-side -side comparison between the two versions. I'll go in my config file and extend the colors property. In there, I'll create a V1 namespace and inside I will paste the colors from Tailwind 1. This will let me access the colors with classes where the color name is prefixed with V1 dash. Let's go and display these colors now. Since there is a lot of repeating HTML in this video, I've created a quick reusable component called Color Shades using a templating language. This allows me to quickly output all the colors of a given shade by simply calling that component with the name of the color. I'll duplicate this block of code here, and instead of the Tailwind 2 colors, I'll output one Color Shades component for each of the Tailwind V1 colors that we've just added to our config. Here we go, now we have the Tailwind 1 colors on top and the Tailwind 2 colors below. You can probably notice a few differences. First obvious thing, two colors have been removed. Orange and teal. These were removed with file size in mind, as each single color generates a dramatic amount of utility classes. As you'll see soon, there are a lot of colors in the Tailwind 2.0 full color palette. Having all of them turned on by default would be madness. We spent a lot of time thinking about what would be the most sensible selection of colors as a starting point, and the default color palette reflects just that. Another thing to note, a new ultralight shade, the 50 right here, has been added to Tailwind 2.0. As you can see up here, these were not present in Tailwind 1. Okay, so I mentioned before that the Tailwind 2.0 palette has a lot of colors. Let's quickly remove the Tailwind 1 colors from our UI and from our config. Now, let's bring the full Tailwind 2 color palette just for fun. I'll require these colors from Tailwind CSS slash colors and then I'll bring over each and every one of the available colors in that colors object we just required. There are 22 colors in total. Those include the colors from the default palette we looked at before. For each color key, I'll set the value to be colors dot and the name of that color. Now in our HTML, I'll render a color shades component for each of the 22 colors. Look at that. These colors are mesmerizingly beautiful. Because they come in five variations, I'll move all the grays in a new group below. As you can see, you now get options for warm, cool grays and everything in between. While these might look quite similar like this, picking a specific shade of gray can drastically impact the overall mood of your designs. And that's it! This is the new color palette in Tailwind 2.0.